Okay, uh, lead in to the Mannheim Touchdown Club Tri-County All-Star Game here. We're at practice with the, really the heart and soul of the Mannheim Touchdown Club. Mike Williams, Mike, good to see you. Same here. Glad you're here. <laughs> glad you're here. Glad we're upright. Glad it's not raining. Yeah, I'll drizzle in here a little bit, but actually, I mean, it's a great day for practice. It's uh, it's it's not going to be hot. The overcast here, uh, you know, these guys. It's a very kind of unique situation, I think, too. Obviously, as you know, coach, um, getting these guys, you know, back into football after being away from it, you know, for so long. I mean, uh, how unique is that? Well, it's it is unique in the sense that uh, they played in the fall, but now this will be their some for some of them their last football game they may ever play some will go off to college and play uh, some will go to the workforce but for a lot of these guys uh, this is the the pinnacle of their career the last in the last game of their career but I think we have a great all-star game I think this is going to be uh, really a neat thing for the, the players and their families and I know I already talked to a set of parents today there <laughs> the mom was almost crying that this was going to be the end of her son's career so that they they love the game coming up and uh, they're going to enjoy it and as it will be the, their son's last game. Yeah, and from that too, uh, we've got a, a nice partner to broadcast the game this year with Fox 43, and so really there isn't any reason why either somebody can't be here or all the family members that might not be able to attend be able to watch the game. But you know, you talked a little bit about you know this is a brand new tradition here, really, where you have all of the Burks. Uh, Berks League teams, you know, folding into that. Talk about some of the unique challenges that, uh, you know, the Mannheim Touchdown Club had to go through in, in folding in all of those Berks teams. Well, we originally did call it the Tri-County All-Star Game, but the only one that really made it Tri-County was the fact that we had Wilson in mm -hmm. the game because they were part of our league. But now we're happy to have all of the Berks teams, all of the Lebanon teams, all of the Lancaster teams. So it's, it's a true uh, Tri-County game. Uh, but there were, were some difficulties. Uh, normally, we have both teams practicing here, but the other, uh, the Berks Lebanon team, is practicing at Exeter High School, so that presented a problem. Uh, things that you don't think about. You know, we're practicing double, double on Saturdays, and so we provide a meal uh, for the team in between the two practices. So we had to go up to the Berks uh, County area around Exeter and find out. Uh, two different uh, sponsors for the mm -hmm. for the uh, meals and just dealing the fact that we don't have all the players here we had to send people up there to, uh, th there's my counterpart is up at Exeter today to uh, making sure that all the players physical paperwork is in and we're handing out coaching shirts today and t-shirts to the players today next week we'll have to have somebody up there because we'll be handing out the, the jerseys for the game and also we have a nice little piece this year where uh, every player is going to get a quarter zip pullover, mm -hmm. uh, and they're they're pretty nice. Uh, the jerseys we have this year are just magnificent. They are the neat, some of the neatest jerseys. Uh, and for us, uh, we do have it's Memorial Day weekend, so we do have a military look to us. And uh, our jerseys, this uh, Lancaster jerseys, are predominantly blue, but they've got red and white trim, and it, they are just gorgeous and. The uh, Berks County is is the red jerseys, and they've got blue and white as their trim. So, you know, we we think it's an important uh, thing for the game to honor our military and honor the, the Memorial Day weekend as such. And I my ultimate goal, my ultimate goal before I give this thing up is we're going to have a flyover. Yeah. If I if I have to do it myself, <laughs> we're going to have one here. But you know, we're just. Uh, you know, honoring the, the, the veterans and of this weekend and trying to do it by showing our colors out here and, and getting the kids to realize what, you know, what sacrifices they've made to, so that they can play in a game like this. Yeah, I tell you what, it, it is, uh, you know, for me too, you know, obviously I'm a Berks County guy, what have you, and but uh, been involved in the Manhattan Touchdown Club here for, you know, the last few years. To see it, uh, you know, accelerate to this level, you know, of excitement. And quite honestly, the Burks guys haven't really been playing in an all-star game for several years, you know, postseason. So that has to be, uh, you know, for, for the Burks guys, I mean, some special motivation. I mean, talk a little bit about, you know, it's always been pretty competitive, you know, out here. But talk about what you envision the, you know, competition to be where, you know, strictly drawn on county lines. Right. Well, I think that, that you're right on that. I think the fact that 
Lancaster versus Lebanon Burks is going to be a extra added thrill to the game. Uh, I think there'll be some rivalries, and I, you know, we had a north-south game, but it, it was all basically the teams that we played together. Now we actually have some uh, battle lines drawn <laughs> up. You know, we're ready to go to battle, and I think it's going to be motivation for the players to try to prove who's who's the best county, who is the best county football. Yeah, see, that's what I like, too, is the fact that, you know, obviously you talked about the fact that it really was just kind of the Lancaster Lebanon League kind of split up. But now you really do have that, uh, you know, those rivalries of teams. And um, I love it. I think that uh, there's very few all-star games uh, other than maybe like the East-West and the Big 33 that really have that kind of battle line drawn, you know, for those particular types of, uh, you know, competition but talk a little bit about obviously you know the game uh it's uh may 26th right that's friday um talk a little bit about you know some of the preparation there you know you expect a big crowd i mean uh, uh, obviously we're trying to get the word out about the game right correct you know we want to have a big crowd we want to make uh, these players f uh, feel like they're in something big and so nothing like a big crowd you know we have we have a band here we have all-star cheerleaders here who will perform. Uh, we're giving away our uh, touchdown clubs, giving away uh, our player of the year award, our lineman of the year award, our special teams player of the year award. And believe me, the awards are not just the plaque. Uh, you have to see the awards and actually believe them. They are first class, second to none. Anybody that wins one of these awards, uh, I mean, They'll be using it for the next 50 years as maybe a paperweight or something like that. But they are they are beautiful awards, and uh, we put a lot into those awards, and it, uh, I hope that it means a lot to the kids. Some of some of the kids that won the awards are, they're, I mean, they're, we have playing in the Big 33 game, we have some playing in the East West games, and we have a couple playing in our game. So uh, it'll be a, a, a nice night. Uh, so we have the cheerleaders uh, that'll perform at halftime. We have the awards at halftime. We have the band plan. We have 80 players. Hopefully we pack the stadium. Uh, we're going to be live streamed. And yeah, Fox 43 got a new live stream partner yeah. there. That's great. So it's going to be it's going to be good. And, uh, you know, we're trying to make this game uh, as big as we can. The other thing, too, we have a 60-some plate, 60-some plus page program with all the players uh, that are in the game. They have uh, player pages. So it's a nice memento, uh, nice keepsake, uh, something that you know kids can be proud of as they see their their picture, their player page in the program. So we feel like we're we're a first class organization right now, running a first class football game. Well, I'm honored to uh, be able to help you know a little bit here by broadcasting and obviously getting the word out with some interviews and everything else. Listen, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Looking forward to the next couple of weeks. All right. Take care. See you later, Mike.